Okay, hello everyone, it's Mika here, and in this video we are gonna take a look at how uh, how to use this uh, signal redire redirector event. And I already built uh, the setup here, so I can actually show you what we are trying to achieve today. And um, yeah, let me just show how it works. What would I have here? Bring it like a little bit closer. There it is. So yeah, what I have here is the spike. You can see going uh, up, and when I uh, touch the screen, it will go down. So it kind of um, changes the direction changes every time when I touch the screen, basically. And I could make even a fancier example of this one. Look, make kind of a spike gate. Away. And also let's link the motor value that is actually changing here. Yeah, this is more fun. I have this gate that closes and opens whenever I basically touch the screen. And how it actually works. What I really have in here is first the camera event which will just uh, lock, lock this screen. And then I have a touch trigger which will uh, send the signal every time I uh, start my touch, so it's on input start. And the first event is a toggle event, which is set to toggle uh, this toggle variable here. So this one can be either on or off. And then it will, it will, this one uh, will also uh, forward the signal to our uh, signal redirector which then uh, compares the conditions given to it. So currently it's, uh, it has equal condition uh, and the value one is linked to a boolean variable, which can be either on or off. And numerically, it means it can be one or zero. And the condition was equal, so value one and zero. So whenever our boolean is off, it will uh, redirect the on true signal when it, and whenever mm, the value is something else than zero, it will direct uh, the on false. And you can see the, the red lines going uh, from here to our first numeric event or set event that will uh, set our numeric var uh, variable here uh, to plus 70. And the other one is to set it uh, at minus 70. So that kind of... Mm, and also this uh, this value is linked uh, to the motor motor speed value of the joints, so you can see in here, and also same one in here. And yeah, let's make this whole system from the scratch, so it might get more clear what is actually going on in here. Let's copy it the whole start. I'll take that with me. Okay, so first, now we have the camera stop event. Next, we want our trigger. So let's go to the triggers and choose the. Whoop, not that one. We could use that one, but uh, for this example, let's use the start trigger and also the input start. Next, let's find uh, the events. Toggle event. And I already did this one for me. And also the redirection. And variables that we need. And Boolean variable. And one numeric variable. And let's start linking them. So first, input start, the toggle event, and let's set type to toggle also, and the targets, and the forward signal for condition, or redirector. And here from the conditions, let's, let's use the not uh, equal value, 
let's compare boolean here with the value 0 and let's link it on true the first set value or set events it's 100 and target is one and let's copy this and change the value to minus might be a little bit more advanced tutorial I just realized but that's okay and here on false signal over there and next um, let's get a joint actually let's uh, let's change it a little bit let's use the rotator joint and let's find something to rotate this one and actually I, I'm gonna remove my new joint because if I open this up so I'm gonna ungroup it and then I'm gonna choose the rotated joint that was already inside this one I'm gonna double tap it to get it back to center point and I'm gonna link the motor speed our new variable and <laughs> I think I have it all set so um, <laughs> let's try it out okay it's yeah it's spinning it's spinning way too fast let's value to 10 maybe and the other one to minus 10 now let's try it oh yes so as you can see now it's uh, going uh, clockwise and when I touch the screen it starts to go counterclockwise and when I start, um, touch the screen again, once again clockwise. And that's how the uh, <laughs> that's how the signal redirector basically works. Uh, there's a lot more things you can do with it. You could make more make more more advanced redirections. And of course, it works with any any kind of trigger. It doesn't need to be dust trigger. We could also have say. This is my favorite, let's use um, huts or a collision trigger. Let's get something to collide with. Let's scale this up. And let's use the collision trigger so that whenever we collide with the gear, we'll send a signal. Over here and let's remove our first plus trigger oh it's not moving anywhere why oh because the value is zero at the start so let's set it to 10 and now when we touch it nothing happens I'm disappointed why Oh god, why? Keep alive. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh no. We actually need this one. We have disable after signal. That was on, so let's set it off. Keep alive is something else. Yes, now it works. Oh man. <laughs> so, so whenever I make a collision with the gear, we will start to move. In the other direction. It doesn't it works a little clunky. Let's start. I should have just left this how it was. Yep. But of course because I make multiple collisions <laughs> when I hit the gear, it might turn back on. Like in here doesn't know which way to go <laughs> okay that was weird uh, but I hope you uh, got the idea how the signal redirector works and yeah see you guys in the next video